Hey folks, another little Wayne bite, just a little taste of this and that, and I'm in Amsterdam for a four-day weekend over Thanksgiving. It's a great time to get away because it's not that crazy here, and also I don't have to make a turkey, which is also good. Um, I've been here many times over the last 20 years, so I'm going to show you some of the sights and sounds and things I like to do, and sort of show you around. standing on one of the bridges over the many, many, many canals of uh, Amsterdam. One of the things you may not know about uh, the Netherlands is that they were the first country to actually recognize America as an independent country. Not necessarily because they loved Americans, but I think because they didn't like the British. But I'm still okay with that. I'm at one end of the Dom Rock, the Dom as it's called here, the main street that runs from Central Station to what's behind me, which is the Royal Palace. When the family's not in residence, the first floor is open for tours. And this is New Church, right on the main square, and also right near the Royal Palace. We actually have a Marilyn Monroe exhibit going on, which we're going to check out today, too. The main street here is actually called Dom, or the Dom Rock, and I'm standing right on the edge of it. I'm on one end of it, which is the Royal Palace, which I think I've shown you already. Behind me is actual Central Station. Central Station is the train station that connects you from Schiphol Airport to the downtown central area. It's a quick shot. See, I forget how much it costs, but not very much money. It's only about 20 minutes from the airport to Central Station. So I'm right in the heart of the red light district, and the very center of it is Odekirk, or Old Church, which is actually from the 13th century. One of the things you will notice in Amsterdam is bicycle is king. They're everywhere and everybody rides them and there are very strict rules about where you can park them, where you can ride them, and people get hit by them all the time if they're not looking in the right direction, especially stupid Americans. So this is the flower market. There's rows and rows of shops like this, beautiful flowers like the you get. You also get beautiful tulips for your home. Time to plant them right about right now, so if you haven't planted them yet, you may have to wait until next year. Much like the canals in Amsterdam, there are rows and rows of streets and sidewalks like this that are all shopping. And people are like packing these areas every day I've been here. And there's all kinds of shops anywhere from simple little things you buy for souvenirs to really high-end expensive stuff, which I won't be shopping for. There are a ton of places to eat over here. Great restaurants, casual restaurants, snack food. But my favorite thing to eat every time I come to Amsterdam, especially at 3 in the morning after I've been cocktailing, um, are these french fries. They're really awesome. They come with like 21 different sauces. I have curry with onions. Amazing. This is a large plaza not very far from our hotel. And there's a market here going on right now with lots of fresh produce and cheeses and other little gifts and things like that. But it's also a main building over here. It's at one point a prison. And uh, sadly, there's few executions in that particular building. But um, it's not anymore. I think it's more of a public house, maybe a restaurant, maybe everything we just sort of sit and enjoy your each other's company. So I've been shooting a lot of video. I think I need to stop for maybe a beer or two. So behind me is the Yanko Hotel. It's a little uh, bed and breakfast. It's right across the street from the red light district, this beautiful church, but it also makes it convenient to everything. It's a short walk from Central Station, and short walk to all the bars and restaurants that I can go to. So I'll show you the inside. The Anko Hotel is awesome. It's a real simple building. It's got 14 units. Some have shared bathrooms. Some have their own private bathrooms. I get the simple little single room. It comes with a beautiful breakfast every single morning. It's less than 100 euros a night, and it's centrally located. What else could you ask for? So that's my Amsterdam. I hope you enjoyed the quick little trip. Come and see it sometime. I think you'll really have a great time.